happy morning girls today we are going to see a new poem that is a paper boat written by rabindranath tagore rabindranath tagore vishwa kavi that means world poet rabindranath was born on may 9 1861 in bengali his father mahari devendranath tagore was a rich man and an aristocrat and his mother was sarada devi aristocrat means noble man okay he was the eighth son and 14th child of his parents he was the eighth son and eighth son and 14th child of his parents rabindranath tagore was not sent to any school he was educated at home by a tutor rabindranath was not happy getting educated within the four walls he was a curious and creative child even as a boy he felt that nature is a mystery and he should unravel the secrets of nature through education so i think you understand this next rabindranath tagore 1861 to 1941 was the greatest writer in modern indian literature he was a bengali poet novelist educator and nobel laureate for literature 1930 his writings gradually influenced bengali culture during the late 19th century and early 20th century Tagore's major works included Gitanjali Song of Rings Gora Far Faced and Ghar Bahar The Om and the World and many other literary and art works Though he was educated at home he studied many subjects and there was a method in his studies he would get up early after physical education he would study mathematics history geography bengali and sanskrit in the afternoon he learned drawing english and play games on sundays he would learn music and conduct experiments in science reading plays was a reading plays was a special interest to him he was happy to read plays of kalidas and shakespeare he had a special interest in bengali which was his mother tongue for further studies he was sent to a public school at london where he became a, a student of professor henry morley whose lectures influenced rabindranath to take an interest in english literature he developed interest in english literature traditions and literature while studying in england he wrote a poem broken art bahana harida after 18 months in england he returned to india without taking any degree Rabindranath started writing poetry in Bengali his poem San Sunday Geet the song of dusk was appreciated by many including Sri Bak Bakiman Chandra Chatrji who wrote the national song Vande Mataram he, he later wrote in Bengali a number of devotional songs nivigar prabha sangeet etc prabhat sangeet etc gitanjali is a well known collection of his poems Gitanjali contains his various noble thoughts 
common to the vast humanity. This pessimism, love, satisfaction, dignity of labor, etc. For this book, Gitanjali, Rabindranath Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1931. Rabindranath Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian to get Nobel Prize and the British government conferred on him knighthood and gave the title of Sir. So here, the Gitanjali is a well-known collection of her poems. Gitanjali contains his various noble thoughts common to the vast humanity. This is pessimism. Was, uh, common to the vast humanity versus pessimism. Pessimism means, uh, pessimism means hopelessness, love, satisfaction, dignity of labor, etc. For this book, Gitanjali, Gitanjali, Rabindranath Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1931. Rabindranath Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. And then Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian to get the Nobel Prize. And the British government conferred on him knighthood and gave the title of Sir. The most popular works of Rabindranath Tagore is Gitanjali. Gita Baitan, Chokhar Boli, Kora, Kabuliwala. So, we are going to see little little about uh, these uh, fame and uh, most popular works of Rabindranath Tagore. First of all, Gita Jali, it is uh, without any doubt the collection of 115 poems and various topics such as uh, spirituality to real life complexity. It is her best and most famous work. And the next one, uh, Kita Baitan, Tagore wrote a more than two, 2,000 songs. They are collectively known as Rabindra Sangeet and are available together a collection in his works called Gita Baitan. The two uh, conjurers of Bengali music uh, re uh, release these and it is often heard in traditionally Bengali household. Today as much as it was played decade ago and the next one chokar Boli, his novel literally translated has a grain of sand is a story that takes the reader through a complex journey of human relationship dipping a honesty a passion and desire around an extra material affair the novel also got its due respect in the form of a feature length movie of say same name and the next one gora this is a targo's longest of the novel he wrote novels he wrote the issues and topics arise in in this uh, irrelevant event today though they focus on different social stands in colonial india and the last but not least this is a Kabuliwala. This is a literary classic which captured the attention of a film industry, Bengali, as well as Indian. This is a story about a banjo from Kabul, Afghanistan, who is trying to adjust to hardship of life in Calcutta and his emotional attachment to the five-year-old daughter of the narrator. Reading to Kabuliwara has sure to leave you heavy and emotional. So these are the uh, most popular works of Rabindranath Tagore. Let's see in the next. Now, we come to the 
our poem, this is Paper Boats. Rabindranath Tagore is an outstanding poet of modern India. He was the first to popularize modern India in the world literary scene. Primarily, he was a Bengali poet, but he was a, equally a master at writing in English. He translated many of his works into English. His poetry shows his deep humanism. He is a universal message of peace, love and joy. He transcends the barriers of space and time. So his poetry has universal appeal. So now, Paper Boats. Paper Boats is a nice poem of Tago taken from his collection, The Sercent Moon. Actually, Sercent means Paper Boat is a, a nice poem of Tago taken from his collection, The Crescent Moon. The poem is an a childhood experience like a word word and water delay more. Tagore also found in children a mystic quality. Mystic means hidden quality. Okay. The poem narrates the child's experience of floating paper boats down the stream. The child imagines that some of the child tries to compete with his boats by sending clouds down the hair in the sky. So the child imagines that some other child tries to, some other person, some peer group tries to combat, tries to win with this with this boat by sending clouds down the hair in the sky. So now, just wash this. Okay, after we will see the line by line explanation. So now come to the lines. Day by day I float my paper boards on by one down the running stream. Okay. So here the child is he float his boat, paper boat, day by day, one by one down the running stream. Hope that Someone else, some strange land will find them or know who am I, who I am. So here the child imagines that someone in some strange land will find him and know who is he. So he f for that in, in big black letters I write my name on them and the name of the village where I love where I live so in the black letters in the big black letters he has 
he has written his name as well as where he was living the village name he was written in the on the paper board i hope that someone has some strange land will find them and who am i i load my i load my little boat with chili flowers from our garden and hope that these blooms of the dawn will be carried safely to land in the night so here the boy was floating his paper boat on day by day one by one on the running stream on the boat he written his names in a big black letter as well as where he was living his village name he were he were written it and then he hoped that someone has some strange land will uh, find them and know who i am and then he had some he had he had fill his boats with a he had fill he had fill as little boats with a shilly flower this is a shilly flower from our garden i hope that these becomes these blooms these blooms of the dawn these blooms of the dawn will dawn means ri- sun rising okay these blooms of the dawn will be carried up will be carried safely to the land in this night i launch my paper boats and look up into the sky and see the little clouds setting the white bridging sa- sails so he just saying that i launch my paper boat i said to going okay i launched my paper boat i said to going a paper boat and look up into the sky and just uh, look the sky and see that the little clouds settling the white blue sails settling white settling the white bulging sails bulging means cloud i know what playment of mine in the sky sends them down they had to race with my boat i know the playment of mine in the sky sends them down the cloud that is the bulging sails it was the sky is going to send down the had to race with my paper boat when night comes i bury my face i just hide my face in my hands and dreams that my paper boats float on and on under the midnight stars the fairies of sleep are sailing in them and the landing in in their basket full of dreams so the fairy is means a small imaginary being of human okay there is called a fairy means angels also so the boy was went to the sleep in the night and he just hide his face in in his arms and start to dream that his boat were float on the under the midnight stars full of light uh, full of moons and stars under the moonlight under the midnight stars in that the fairies of the slip are sailing in them so in that boat fairies are fairies of slip are sailing in them and the leading his loading hints loading hints the basket full of dreams is full of imagination so this is the experience of the child
So now, the child loves the world of playfulness and fun. Day by day, he floats the paper boats down the running stream. He sends them with the intention. He sends them some intentionally that they would read some distant land. The board will read some distant lands. Out of a curiosity, he writes his names on address on those boards. He fondly hopes that somewhere someone will find them and know him. I hope that someone is someone, some strange, unknown that land we will find will find them and know who I am. The child has always a deep sense of love. He wishes to present the unknown friend with a valuable gift. So he loads his boats with the flowers from his garden. He hopes that the boats will carry the flowers safely to the distant land in the night. And hope these blooms of dawn will be carried safely to land in the night. When the child looks up, he sees the white clouds sailing in the sky. See the little clouds setting their white bulging sails. He imagines that he has a friend in the sky. He thinking that the other child sends white clouds down their head to compete with his boat. I know not what playmate of mine in the sky sends them down the head to race with my boat. At night, he sees a dreams in a slip. He dreams about his paper boats in the dream. He is happy to know that angels are sailing in his boats. So, this is the explanation of paper boats. I think you are all enjoyed. I hope you are all understand. So, once again, I am going to read. Day by day, I float my paper boat one by one down the running stream. In big letters, I write my name on them and the sea and the name of the village where I live. I hope that someone in some strange land will find them and know who I am. I load my little boat with a shilly flower from our garden and hope that these blooms of the dawn will be carried safely to land in the night. I launch my paper boats and look up into the sky and see the little clouds settling the white bulging sails. I know what playmate of mine the sky sends them down. They had no race with my. When night comes, I bury my face, my. Night comes, bury my face in my arms and dreams that my paper boat floats on and under. The fairies of sleep are sailing in them and they load, loading, laying hands their basket in their baskets full of dreams. So, this is the explanation of paper boats. So, so, the child loves the words of playfulness and fun. Day by day, he floats a paper boats down the running stream. He sends them with the intention that they could reach some distant land. And out of curiously, he writes his name and addresses on those boats. He fondly hopes that somewhere, somewhere someone will find them and know them. 
i hope that someone is some strange learn will find them and i know who i am the child has always a deep sense of love he wishes to present the unknown friend with a valuable gift so he loads his boats with the flowers from his garden he hopes that the boats will carry the flowers safely to the distant land in the night and hope that these blooms of the dawn will be carried safely to learn her the night when the child too looks up he sees the white clouds sailing in the sky see the little clouds sitting there white bulging sails he imagines that he has a friend in the sky he thinking that the other child sends white clouds down they had to compete with us both i know not what playmate of mine in the sky sends them down they had to race with my boat at night he sees a dream in his sleep he dreams about his paper boats in the dreams he is happy to know that angels are sailing in his boats Thank you girls thank you for watching enjoy happy day